Good morning, good morning, good morning. Okay, so I'm here to talk to you all about the Bling Messenger Party for Paparazzi Jewelry. It is an awesome, awesome tool to use to sell and promote our jewelry. So basically how it works on Facebook, where you go to Messenger, you would click create a message. Okay, so that's that little box with the, the like, I believe it has like a little pin or something sticking out of it. So you click that one. Once you click that one, then you will create a group. Now, you need to have at least three people to create a group. So what I did when I created my very first one, I added um, myself, my daughter, and my husband. Um, and that became the group. You want to pick people that you can kind of mess around with the group and people won't be looking. You know, you don't necessarily want to pick customers, but you do want to pick some people to create the group. Once you do that, the group message is created. You then click uh, the top, the title of the group at the top, or edit, I believe it is. And once you click that, then you can change. It'll give you like a list of different things that you can do to edit your group. So then you can change the name. You definitely want to change the title. So mine says Bling Party and Messenger. Uh, I've seen uh, Pretty Girl Jewelry Box Messenger Party, whatever. You can put whatever you want. You can name it whatever you want. You also can change the, the color of your group. So I think right now I actually have um, rainbow. At one point I had orange. And you can change it up as much as you want. So if you did purple one time and you, you wanted to do something different the next time, you could definitely do that the next time. Okay? Once you're done with that, then you can scroll down and you can see look at the different options where it says you can click share and then it'll ask you if you want to share by text message um do you want to copy the link um or do you want to share to facebook okay also when you're in there you can put a picture in there so my business is um glitter bug jewelry so i have um a little meme or I don't know, a picture that I made that says glitter bug jewelry. And so I uploaded that picture right there. And so it comes up on the side. Once you're done with that, then you want to create your list of rules. So your blurb, okay, of what um, it's going to say in that bling party and messenger. So mine says, welcome to my first ever bling party and messenger. This is how it goes. So I give people, I say in there, um, you definitely can take yourself out of this group whenever you want. This is not uh, mandatory, but you want to stay in here if you want to get the deals. I'll be dro dropping exclusive pieces in here. And then I also will say, if you see something that you like, you comment that number. Also, there will be some free pieces in here as giveaways. And that on that picture, it will say free. The first person that comments free will get that. Some of these items I have more multiple of, and some of them I have one and dones. Um, when you get your invoice, it will be a surprise to you as to whether what what you got so it becomes intensive so you want to build up the um you want to build it up basically um to get people excited the the um the momentum let me say that you want to build up the momentum to get people all involved and all excited about it that's why i would not suggest saying i have three of these i have two of these i have one of these i have four of these you don't want to do that and then you, but you will put that in your in your thing i will go on um in the order in which the numbers came in until that item is sold out okay also, you want to make sure that they know that please invite your friends, your family, your co-workers, whatever. If they, if whoever you invite, tell me, refer, whoever you invite tells me that you referred them, you will get free shipping tonight. So that's how you set that up, okay? Then what you do, when I first did it, my very first one, I was still learning paparazzi, so I didn't really know that I could go get the stock photos. Duh, right so um i the first one i had my jewelry and you can do it however you want i had my jewelry on the bus with the numbers that we use for the lives you know these numbers up here um and i had it on the bus or, or i had it on some nice velvet or whatever with the number next to it so when i dropped the number i mean drop the piece of jewelry the number would be with it however i've gotten a little more crafty um you know where it says our order history um in our back office of the things we order well that stock photos are always available to us as I've learned by the second time I did this. And so now what I do is I just go into my back office and this works great, especially if you're away from home, um, 
and you don't, you're not able to look and see what you have, but you kind of have an idea of some, the, some of the stuff that you have, you can just go to your order history in your, in your back office and click on the photos, save them to your phone. Once you save them to your phone. Now, I usually save about 60 pictures, okay? Um, when I do mines, I drop about anywhere bet between 50 to 80 pictures. Um, the first time I did it, I think that I may have done about 60 pictures. Yeah, so anyway, so anyway I'll save those. That's neither here nor there. You can do however many you want. I'll save those. So when it's time for you to start your party, right? Um, you will say, uh, you will send those gifts. So you know how they're those animated emojis that we have, those GIFs is what they're called. Um, and then emojis or whatever you want to put, you would like, you want to get your crowd based going and hyped and excited about this. Okay. So you will be posting those right before the story starts. Now, this is what I did to get um, the momentum and the excitement going for my very first party. And I, and I still kind of do it. I went to my VIP group and I said, I knew the party, I was going to do the party the next day. So I went to my VIP group and I said, all right, VIP ladybugs, I have a very special announcement. I'm going to be dropping it today at 12 o'clock. I can't wait to share it with you. That's all I wrote in that group. My VIP people were like, come on, come on. Why are you holding out on us? What you about to do? What you about to do? What you about to do? Right? So at 12, of 11:59, people was coming like all right because i did this like two hours before all right what's what's up what's up so at like 1205 i then shared i went to the messenger i clicked the share button and then i clicked um the copy the copy the link i then went to my vip page i pasted the link and then i used emojis that were like sirens and then you know it was like public service announcement my first ever bling party in messenger it's going to be fun invite your friends invite your families come in there with gifts emojis it's all going to be laughter this is a silent party for my lives and so then people and it was like and if you wanted to be a part of this then you will click what did you click? You will click the link below. Sorry, I blanked for a minute. So you will click or tap the link below or click or comment, add me and I'll add you. So mostly everybody that was in my VIP, almost everybody did. Uh, they clicked to add. So they were the very first people in there, right? I also let them know all of my VIP people for attending tonight will get free shipping. That was my incentive for them to come on over, check me out and try it out. Okay. So all of my VIP people, VIP people added, okay. What I did the next day is I then put that same post on my personal page and on my business like page. Have some exciting news. It's going down tonight. Um, stay tuned till 12 o'clock to find out the announcement. Had the same thing. People were commenting. What's going on? What you doing? 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 They want to know, right? So then at 12 o'clock, I then dropped the same thing that I put in my VIP with the little emojis and sirens and just excitement and like the party confetti and all this different type of stuff. And I have the link there so that they can tap them, tap to add themselves or I, they can comment and click add me and I'll add them. So I did that. People were doing it. As of today, I have 71 people in that Bling Messenger party. It's the most awesome thing ever. Um, okay. And so once that happens, okay, now... It's Friday. It's the day of the party. I dropped this news to the public on the day that I was actually doing the party. So it was like at 730 tonight, I'm doing my first ever Bling Messenger party, whatever. Come one, come all, you know, click the link below if you want to be added or click or comment at me and I'll add you. So it built up and people were like, what is that? So they clicked it, right? When they got in there, my rules, my little excerpt was already there so that, that they can read it. And so I, I wrote in there, make sure you read the rules above. And so I, I hearted it so that they would get the notification. You know what I mean? And then like I then had little gifts. Like I had little Kim with a whole bunch of bling on going like this. You know, I had Mr. T with a whole bunch of jewels on. And he was going like this. Like I was doing all different types of things. I was waving hi to them. But it wasn't me. You know, it's those gifts that you use. Um, and so then, um, but now what I'd like to do is 
because you can also record a little video of yourself. So how I'm talking to you right now, you could say, hey, everybody, thank you for joining my Bling Messenger party tonight. I got some hot exclusive pieces for you tonight. Can't wait to drop them. You know the rules. You know the routine. Make sure you scroll back up so that you'll be reminded of the way that these things go tonight. And let's get shopping. I'll see you in a bit. And then it would just send this video, like right now how I'm talking to you, to them. So everybody will be able to preview and see it. And that was it. And then I would begin to start dropping my pieces. Now, when you click the, when you click the, I believe it's like six dots or the photo button to share a photo to a group message, um, that your picture will come up on the bottom. So you'll just click that picture on the, as soon as you touch that picture, it's going to say edit. Okay. Click edit. And then it'll open up your picture so that you can see it in entirety before anybody else will see it. And then it'll be a little A and a small A in the right hand corner. You click that little A, small A, and then you can actually type the number on there. That was a game changer for me. Okay, because it was like, wait a minute, I don't have to draw on it because I was editing it through my phone and drawing on it. And I had these really funky numbers on there with my finger. This is by the second time. Then now I figured, hey, I can put an actual number stamp on it. So you can click that. You can change the number and do all those different things. So that's been a game changer. It looks very more professional to me. Um, but as you go on, you grow, you learn different things. And so then you can begin to drop them. So Again, remember, you want to get the people all excited. So drop some gifts, some emojis, add, talk to them, say, I want to know how you guys are feeling. Drop it in a gift, drop it in an emoji. So people are dropping all sorts of things, right? Okay, so let's drop the picture. So I start dropping one. And I usually wait about 10 to 15 seconds between each picture. And then um, when I dropped about 10-ish, then I will do my free piece or, um, or my giveaway. And, um, you know, by then they're, they should be commenting. It's 14, whatever, 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 you know what I mean? Um, and so what I like to do is I like to just like it. You know what I mean? Just like it that I saw it. You know what I mean? That means they know that I saw it and acknowledges that I saw it. And then when I, once I drop my free piece, which I'm not even sure if we could do free pieces anymore, but I don't know, you know, so much different things going on with compliance. So I have to find out, but anyway, that's, this is just what I've been doing. So I drop my free free piece. The person, the first person to comment the word free is the person that gets it. I then stop and then I will write congratulations, whatever, Mickey Howard on your free piece. So then I was then sending emojis of like somebody throwing up confetti or, or gifts of somebody throwing up confetti, whatever. I like to make it as lively as possibly because it is a silent party. And so then everybody, and then I'll say everybody congratulate such and such. And then everybody will be dropping all these gifts, right? And then I'll push on. The whole point is to make sure that people are involved. Now, it may get silent at one point, but it does not mean that they're not watching. Because every time somebody sees the video, the little circles on the bottom will come under each picture of what people who have seen it. Okay? So then that's pretty much the way that that goes. And then um, I'll check in midstream. And just kind of throw gifts y'all with me you know whatever whatever throw gifts they'll throw gifts back they'll throw all sorts of things even when they're showing it like oh my gosh like they'll show big faces of people and all different types of things so it's really fun um it's really easy to do the first time i did it i did it in like 20 minutes and i think i cleared about 95 maybe a hundred dollars in there and then people who didn't weren't a who didn't get to see it until later, they then were inboxing me. Oh, do you still have this? Do you still have this? Do you still have this? I want this. I want this. And so I think I made another like 50 bucks within a couple hours. But then here's the kicker. People were still looking at it. gave people the opportunity to go back and scroll through those days later and say, oh, do you have this? Do you have this? Do you have that? So it becomes their personal little shopping mall where they can look anytime because, you know, as our customers are going places, they need different pieces of jewelry for different pieces pieces of things and so they will scroll through and be like oh this is i need this for my outfit next week for mother's day that's what happened for mother's day i need this um do you still have some of these and i said let me check and then i was like yep i still have a few of them in stock i can get them over to you that great can you invoice me perfect yep invoice ship gone they got their stuff so that's pretty much the gist of the messenger party um but again create the momentum you it is your choice if you want to put how many pieces you have of items in there i don't because 
it causes people to move quicker and think on their feet. They know once they've claimed it, it is yours. You know what I mean? So they don't know how many pieces I have. So everybody got their fingertips ready. Like it's like adrenaline is rushing because I remember when I did it, I watched somebody else did it. I, my adrenaline was rushing because I didn't know how many pieces they had of that thing. So I, it didn't give me long to think about something. It's either I, I wanted it or I didn't and I had to think fast. So that's why when you give people the opportunity to say, oh, well, she has about six or seven of those only two i'll think about it only two of those people um are, have bought it so far and she got like six or seven left it's like oh i'll think about it i'll come back i'll think about it i'll sit on it for a couple of days and then eventually they may not either want it or they'll wait a long time to get it no you want to get these sales out kicking and moving all right if you have any questions please feel free to contact me i am glitter bug jewelry juanita's glitter bug jewelry on Facebook. Um, send me a message or I'm Juanita Lady J Watkins on Facebook. Send me a message to my messenger. I'll help you build it. I'll help you get it together. I can even send you my blurb that I use and you can tweak it to how you want to tweak it. All right. So that is it. That is it. Catch me on my lives if you want to. It would be nice to have you. Toodaloo.